Now it seems that some people don't think that my last pack opening was legit. Even Scarce thinks my video's fake and he's fat. Yeah, well, that's because it is. Hi everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back. FIFA YouTubers notoriously have been faking their content and their packs pretty much since 2010. They've also been uh, faking their entertainment value, but it seems like people generally believe that that's actually real. I do think it's kind of funny that Rota Shaw can be exposed for faking packs and his response can be, No, no, they're real. They are real packs and they always have been. This is a guy who literally made his channel off of faking wages between hugely expensive players, also known as Pink Slips back in the day, an interesting name. And before you say Alex, there's no real proof that Rauta Shaw has been faking these packs, apart from, apart from the screenshots and his own videos where he's clearly accidentally mislabeled information that he's manifested himself. Apart from that, where is the proof Alex? There's none of it. You, you're a liar, you scumbag. Actually, actually, People wouldn't say it like that, they'd say it like this. Alex, mate, where's the proof that he's been faking packs? My Rotoshaw would never fake packs. I love my Rotoshaw ID. Um, I'm an 18 year old on the internet for sure, definitely not eight. Uh, Rotoshaw's really funny. Well, let's face it, the FIFA community aren't very old, let alone mature. I mean, what age group are gonna watch a man? scream at his TV and throw his chair. If I throw this, will my channel stop dying? Hi. <laughs> before I went to making videos where I benefited off other people's names, I mean, before I moved to commentary videos, it's not funny because that's literally what I do. It's like, there's no irony or sarcasm there. Being self-aware doesn't absolve me of the problems I create. But yeah, I used to make FIFA content, and guess what? Most of the people, friends of mine, not me, because I couldn't be bothered to sit there and edit it, they faked their shit. They all did. Because that's just how it works. Like, that's part of the community. Oh, do I sit here and spend 10 grand on packs, or do I just open up After Effects and fake a pack? Now, am I saying that that is morally and ethically correct? No. Because what these people also do when they fake their packs is they link to their coin sites, which they may or may not own. Uh, this information could actually be used against them. I have not said anything. Please do not quote me when I say that they may own these websites like CSGO Lotto. Because of the fact that um, what they do is they promote these sites and they say, yo, link in the description uh, for 10% off uh, packs. But then you don't actually open packs, do you? You just fake them. So these kids going, hey, my mate wrote a shore and KSI Olajid ABT uh, and uh, KSI2, they all open these packs and they get loads and loads of like good players. So I'm going to spend my parents' money on these. Um, here's my card. Have my, my bank card and, and buy, buy cards with them. Virtual cards. So yeah, there's a bit of a problem there, isn't there? Because these people are going, hey, bet on my pack websites and fuck with my coin websites and make me a multi-millionaire. And when I say multi-millionaire, I mean I know people who have bought houses because of their coin sponsors. So yeah, uh, he's a bit morally wrong because they're, they're, they're kind of scamming kids because they're creating this false information on screen, which is what people think Syndicate and T-Martin did. And then the kids are going to bet on the websites and they're going to lose all their money. And then it's like, ah, well, Syndicate always won. Rotashaw always opened great players in his packs. So yeah, you're fucking over your audience. I call this the CSGO syndrome. It's where you convince people that it's not of its current and natural nature so that their parents will hand over all their money so you could pocket off their impressionable little souls. But playing innocent is stupid because you already are known for faking shit. So why are you now trying to be like, oh, I'm an innocent party involved in the FIFA community? Because you're not. And we know you're not. I was actually linked the proof that uh, these packs were faked before anyone else. But I literally didn't make a video on it because I thought everyone knows this. Like everyone knows it. But apparently they don't. And I've missed out on a lot of views. This is why my channel's in a decline. But anyway, I wanted to uh, test out to see if I could pack some good players, so uh, let's see if I could. Hi everyone, I'm Alex, welcome back to another FIFA pack opening, what are we going to get? 
Oh, will it be good? Oh my god! Wow! Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on it. If we could aim for 900, that'd be greatly appreciated. I've never set a like goal, really, in a long time, so it'd be cool if we could do that. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. And a huge thank you to all my Patreons. Detection, Simon, Torch, Don't Me Silly, Lucas, and Blues Dank. Thank you guys so much for pledging and everybody else. You guys are really appreciated. And the new Bad Bandwagon's nearly done. And also some stuff arrived from my Halloween video. And it wouldn't be possible without you guys. So thank you very much. Hopefully you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, people.